Keep awesome. that, because we're, yeah, we're going to do that next. And we're going to miss out on this. Burrow. Wentz, Watson, uh, uh, can you keep it going? Mahomes. Mahomes. And now Burrow. And now Burrow. Awesome. And who do we got? There was a penalty, so we were negative yardage. No, but there was a lot of time between snaps. Uh, well, when the penalty happened, then we are behind the chains. No, 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 stop saying but. I just told you the clock was running and we had a penalty. Do you want to give them the ball back? No, you don't play. You don't know it. That's just plain and simple. Was I happy with the drive? No, we didn't score points. That's the dumbest question you could ask. What? Jesus, Tony. ESPN's Tony Grossi got caught on a hot mic going after Brown's quarterback, Baker Mayfield. The two have a history. Just in case you missed it, here's bumped up audio. And we're going to miss out on this guy. What's that? Burrow. Wentz, Watson, uh, uh, can you keep it going? Mahomes. Mahomes. And now Burrow. And now Burrow. And who do we got? Fucking like midget. Through all of this, with the Browns' woes the past few years, guys are enabled to have hot takery in sports media. It's why High Noon was canceled. However, it seems like the fix was in from the start. Grossi tweeted, Baker Mayfield was put on this planet to sucker the Browns. Hashtag 100 years war. This was tweeted in November of 2017. Baker Mayfield wasn't drafted until April 26, 2018. Grossi of ESPN Cleveland ran with the headline, comparisons of Baker Mayfield to Johnny Manziel are fair, and appropriate, not lazy analysis. What? Jesus, Tony. Two words that led to t-shirts being sold in Cleveland. With the fallout, News5Cleveland.com wrote a piece titled, Tony Grossi suspended indefinitely for calling Baker Mayfield derogatory slur. Grossi, feeling the heat, got his apology in, and in short, what we are showing, I am truly sorry for my language and choice of words and a remark I made about Baker Mayfield that was captured on our live feed I sincerely apologize for using a word that is a derogatory slur. There's no excuse for using that language in any context. It was said without malice, but also without thought. ESPN Cleveland issued their statement on Twitter as well. Ironically, McNeil with the tweet of the day writing, oh, so now the mics pick up the derogatory slur? Grossi has a history. In 2012, Grossi was removed as a member of the Cleveland Plain Dealer staff. Grossi had typed a message, which he termed, a smart aleck remark to a colleague that called Brown's owner, Randy Lerner, a pathetic figure, the most irrelevant billionaire in the world. He thought he was texting it to a friend, but accidentally tweeted the message. There's also the 2017 case of Grossi claiming that the Browns are outsourcing major decisions to a football analytics columnist and podcaster with no practical experience in football scouting, coaching, or team building because one of their moves followed something Bill Barnwell once said. In October 2019, Grossi has been quoted as saying he had been disrespectful so many times in the last couple weeks in response to simple questions by me, Grossi said, of Mayfield. While there are beefs between athletes and media members, the question becomes, not as a columnist, but as a beat reporter, is there a bias that will lead to unfair coverage? This was Tony Grossi in his most authentic form. The ball now lies in ESPN Cleveland's court.